Chantel. Chantel, at the last moment, in the final minutes of 2023, has dropped a bomb on the whole internet. Uh, she is in Canada right now for various reasons, one of which is to receive, I think, health care. Um, she can't afford dialysis in Kuwait, from what I understand, something like that. Or her visa expired. She's in Canada, is what I'm trying to say. So she's separated from her uh, husband because even though she is legally married to Salah in Kuwait, uh, Salah is a Syrian national. And as you can imagine, the Syrian passport right now is not in particularly strong standing across the world. Even in Canada, uh, the immigration process for a spouse from Syria is probably a little bit complicated. So uh, she's there by herself um, petitioning for him, and I believe petitioning for him to come over. I, that's my speculation, but I don't think that's announced. Anyways, point is that they're separated. And now a man is alone, he cannot coom, and... He's a mega spurg like Salah. What do you think is going to happen, chap? Salah exposed. Hi. There is a user named Charmotel Worlds on Twitter who claims to have been talking to Salah. This person is banned now. Uh, the person who leaked these uh, has deleted her account but did uh, get all this out and it was reposted to the Kiwi Farms and Piggy clipped it and posted it to her channel. Exactly, you are my slave. That's really quiet. Hey, Sharmota. Hey, Sharmota. Don't forget to clean the bathrooms with your tongue. Until the Yes, exactly, you are my slave. He says, yes, exactly, you're my slave. Hey, Sharmota. Don't forget to clean the bathrooms with your tongue, okay? Don't forget to clean the bathrooms with your tongue. You're gonna be under my shoes forever and ever. You're going to be under my shoes forever and ever. Get down on your knees. Beg me to forgive you. Um, Salah is saying, your ass is more important than my whole family. Heart emoji, goddess. I'm here, pink heart. I love that. Your ass better than my family. So if you can't tell what's happening, this person has catfished uh, Chantel. Well, I feel like I'm talking to a real dog, a real slave, a pure dog. I'm gonna shit on you and rape you and spit on your face. Very romantic sex. <laughs> uh, if you're only listening, uh, the woman recording that message uh, immediately recorded it with her other phone and then responded with four heart eye emojis. She says, you're perfect. Uh, weary emoji, clap emoji. I wrote, said, like two hours working, then break, half hour, then two hours working, and so on. It's not easy. Yeah, Daddy, I, you did a good job. I wrote the script. I prepared pics with the whole edits and text and the music and sound effects. I don't know what he's talking about. He's talking about his work as like a Fiverr editor or something. No, he is talking about Chantel. It's a shame Girl World wants to give all the credits to Chantal for the script, though. I'm proud of you. So it's like he knows that this person knows Chantal from the internet and doesn't is not suspicious of this or that these things might leak. What a fucking idiot. Now here are the screenshots. Pause to read. Okay, I will. Uh, Salah says, do you have Instagram? Yeah, I'll send you a message on Insta there. I think it's that. It's a different account. Um... Salah so talks about becoming God and having his pee pee worshipped by this person. You like the humiliation and blasphemy of religions too. She says, yes, oh my God. Things girls will do for content these days. It says, I want to replace Chantal, take her place. She can stay in Canada. And then he says, I can't. I love both of you. So he wants like a harem of toilets to to poop on. 
Uh, she will come back because the bypass after one and a half year. She didn't expect it. She'll start to die and exercise. I hope it works for her. So this, he's like, he's not only, it's, it, that blows my mind. I thought this was just like a catfish that it, like leaked this stuff to, to humiliate him. But he knows Chantal. He, he knows that this person knows Chantal and knows of her drama and follows her on, on the internet and still thinks, yeah, I can pull this off and do poo poo pee pee rape stuff with her. And then maybe also get her into my harem and that it'll just work out. It'll just work out. More about making uh, so hot. Can't wait. If you be a good girl, we're going to meet up and I find my ways. And then she says, yeah, and make Chantal pay for it. Heart emoji, clapping hands. He says, you think so? She, she says, yes. And then he's they're seriously considering this. She pay for another girl to come me and fuck me. He, she says, yes, exactly. Imagine what she gonna do. Nothing. Nothing. Oh my, he's like taunting her. You ain't gonna do shit. It's complicated. I will rape you and your Bible and your cross. Don't worry. Every minute when you go outside, your mind will be worshiping me. When you go to the bathroom, you will think, oh. You will think that your face on the toilet and I'm gonna pee and poop in your face. When you sleep, you will think that you are sleeping under the bed and I'm top of you in bed like a king. You are worthless. My garbage bin. I'm gonna spit on your face so much, dude. Zoomers have the worst have the worst concept of relationships in history. Um, she says, uh, "I thought you. I was special as a slave." She. He says, "Yes, you are. You're my lucky slave. Because for real, I never ever talk with any girl since I love Chantel. So weird. Why only you?" And she says, "Because I was made to serve you." And he says, "Good answer. Salute." There are too many new people who like to be. By the way, nowadays there is too many like these people who like to be abused and humiliated. Beta boys, I am alpha. She says, my God, my king. I am the alpha and omega. <laughs> this, dude's, <laughs> this dude's quoting the Bible verse from Fallout 3. <laughs> um, then he sent pictures of his feet. Cool. So now we have Salah feet pics. Big hairy Arab men feet. Smoking in the house. That's the worst thing I've seen all stream. All right. So that's the, that's the damning leaks, right? Um, this is out of order. Uh, can uh, Fubi says before I go away for a long time, I want to say that having a fetish, no matter how taboo does not ever define a person or make them a criminal. A lot of people have secret fetishes. Law has never once treated me badly other than the infidelity in this one case. Oh, this is out of order, I think. So this is like her community post apology video. Cause she she put out a, a, a stream that she's since deleted. I don't know if I have an archive of this. Sorry, I've spoiled everything by flipping through it. Um, she put out a big long video crying in Canada saying like this guy ruined his life. She's so mad at this. She wants to become like a lesbian. She's swearing off men. And then immediately she's like, the desperate, ugly whore who started it. You are sad, and no man will ever respect you. Your flex that got Salah attention. Bitch, he wanted to use you as a toilet, desperate as hell. Anyways, I'm judging by how he has always treated me. He has never been anything except kind and loving. You weirdos let Kaya back, and she's back with a child. Uh, she shacked up with a child pimp. Jesus. A uh, different ballpark altogether. We're human beings that mess up. Anyways, we need a long break deal. Private. Uh, this person replies saying, you know what? You had to go to get Salah's attention, Chantel. Follow him. That's all I did. He took an interest in me and took full, and I took full advantage of it. No idea how else to tell you, girl. And then she proves that uh, he reached out to her for on his own. Uh, the second bathroom is actually a sex room. Wait, where is your ass? I must lick it now before I poop on you, he says. This is this is the man, and this is what he says. Didn't Chantel once say she farts to entertain Salah? It was right after she accidentally left off a giant fart at the end of one of her floor mukbangs. Anyways, it makes more sense now. Uh, more farting stuff. I will twerk on your face and suffocate you. Wow, no farts are what you think, my bitch. I will fart for you. Where? Heart emoji on your face. Wow. So hot. The the energy of these messages, the sexual tension, 
the, the elocution of such beautiful language to entice and romance and arouse. It's really, prom it's really, it really is prominent here. All the, all, this is the peak of ERP. <laughs> it doesn't get more erotic than that. Uh, he then sends her rape porn of women being pinned to the ground, um, ass up, and getting anally, uh, uh, having anal. And then he says, I will do all these with you and humiliate you. I am going to spit a lot on your face and stomp your goddamn face and pee on you. And then Chantal says, I love him. <laughs> um, an advertisement for sol solitaire. Lady... Get revanced and fix your YouTube, okay? He says, hi all. Oh, this is his community post. I know I am the last person you want to hear right now, but I want to apologize for my actions. The main one being that I hurt and betrayed my wife, I swear, and I even admitted in the screenshots that before this incident, I never spoke to or even accepted a quest from other women. I have certain fetishes I repress, and I felt ashamed to tell my wife about them and fear. She might find me weird and leave me. Yeah, that's probably a valid fear. I will not make excuses for my actions, though I did try to explain where I'm coming from. I also am sorry for disappointing the beezes and to anyone who never thought I had the side of me. I am a good man and would never hurt anyone in real life. This is all supposed to be private and fetish talk only. From now on, I will always communicate my feelings with my wife. Baby, I love you, sweetheart, and I am so, so sorry. I will tear my arm off before I ever hurt you again, and I will do whatever it takes to get you back. I miss you, and since you have been gone, I have been so lonely and messed up. I am sorry I let everyone down, because everyone now thinks I am cheetah and bad person. I did things, yes, and I am deeply sorry. I will take a long break from the lowercase i internet. Thank you for listening and understanding. So all you people who are like, yeah, you know, Muslims are fucking base and trad, and they put women in their place, and they make them wear, like, hijabs and shit, and, like... You know, a lot of fucked a nine-year-old, but, like, if I could fuck a nine-year-old and I could fuck, like, four nine-year-olds and have, like, a harem of, like, bitches that don't, like, talk back to me and shit and aren't salutes, and then, you know, maybe Islam is the way. Maybe, like, maybe, like, a a white European uh, caliphate is, like, the right direction. Uh, those people are still porn sack, and they are into the pee-pee-poo-poo rape, and they are dumb as hell. The entire thing of this reminds me of that meme where it's like the person sees something and says, wow, what a deep introspection of the X, Y, Z. And then it's like, he's missing the point and the point's literally flying over his head. And this, it's like Chantal says, man, men are so bad and you can't trust men and blah, 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 blah. Pee, pee, poo, poo, rape fetish, blah, blah, blah. And then it's like the missing point is Arab men suck. These people suck. They live out in the fucking desert and they rape goats and children. They suck. Yeah, I understand. You understand, chat? You understand me now? Uh, here is her forgiveness video. Let's watch this until I get bored of it. Hi, guys. I'm going to not edit this, so there might be pauses and ums and all that crap. So, Anyway, I'm going to follow up to my previous live stream um, where I was freaking out because I learned of oh. some conversation of sexual nature that was going on between... Um, Salah and um, someone else. Anyway, um, so I did a lot of talking with him and um, probably should have done that before I came to the internet freaking out. But I have the track record of when something goes wrong, I impulsively go live and just let it all out. So... Um, which brings me to um, some reasons I've decided to make the decision I did. Um, I decided to forgive him and move on and try to. Um, because, number one, uh, which, you know, you haven't heard very many outbursts from me during this relationship compared to the previous encounter I had with someone who shall be uh, remain nameless. Um, there's no tea with Salah. There's no um, abuse story. There's no uh, anything bad. He's always been treated me like a queen. Um, he was always been an amazing husband. And this is all kind of shocking for me. And... <laughs> So two things about this video. One, the way that she talks, I don't know why she talks like this, but she's like, mm, 
like every time she opens her mouth. Like I don't know, she does it deliberately. Like you can't make that noise without deliberately creating suction in your mouth and then popping it open. She does this like every line drives me crazy. There's a specific line that I'm waiting for, chat. Um, I do believe that he loves me, and I say that because, um, you can just kind of feel it, you know. When I, I mean, also. He, you can love someone and still cheat on them because it, that was my situation. I loved my ex and I still did it. Um, I just had needs I couldn't communicate to him and I had my own issues and it had nothing to do with my love for him. And I feel like Salah comes from a repressed and I'm not excusing his actions. I'm not at all, but I'm giving my reasoning to why I'm deciding to work it out and Number one is I love him. I love him. Um, other than this incident, he's been nothing but good to me. And I think, um, I believe him when he says it would never happen again. I think this is you know, where he's she told says me, it. like, I will hurt myself it. before I hurt you again. And, um, you know, I just have these fetishes that I've just been so afraid to communicate to you because... You're my wife and I feel ashamed of that and I'm like you you can come to me you know like um I can't promise I can do everything but um it's very private and embarrassing um you know private stuff but you know as for I mean fetishes go it doesn't mean you're a bad person if you have fetishes no matter how um even I want to say and this may be a contentious opinion I want to say if you are into raping women and shitting on their face, you're probably a bad person. I don't know if that's a contentious opinion these days. I'm, I'm not. I'm not in with the kids. I don't know what the Zoomers are into now, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and make that assumption. Grape ones. I mean, some people like that. Like if you look at the screenshots, this person came to him and said that they liked that kind of thing, and you know. Um, I don't. So, I mean, that's the thing. So he knows that. But um, I think also it doesn't make him a bad person to have fetishes. He's never uh, abused me or even uh, alerted to any of this on, uh, in private life, which is why it's so <laughs> out of left field for me. For It doesn't even seem like my Salah, you know. But he's obviously been hiding a side of, you know, desire that he just doesn't, it can't help it. Um, and, you know, he never did anything in person. He didn't show any nudes to this person. Or, dun, dun, dun. You know, he never did anything in person. He didn't show any nudes to this person. Or, Wrong. He, when they, conf when she confronted him and said, Salah. You have done the nasty, and you've talked about pee-pee poo-poo rape with another woman. How do you plead? He says, my my baby, my baby, my baby, I would tear off my arms before I ever hurt you again. I did not do nothing with this woman. It was only fetish fantasy on the text messages, and I did not show her my pee-pee. Then explain this, Salah. Explain your dingle dongus being on the internet. Oh, ho, ho, it appears you lied. He even, he was so proud of this, by the way, that he shaved. You can see the razor burn from him shaving. So he was so prepared to show his dingle dongus to this woman that he actually shaved it down. Uh, so it would look nice. So, so because when you, sh when you, <laughs> yeah, hold up, I have to find something. Okay, uh... Oh, I'm never gonna find this. There's a um, in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, there was uh like a fake news um, channel where Andy Dick was like, I think it was Andy Dick. He kept calling into this show about gardening, and he kept saying like like in a creepy voice, you know, shave the bush, the tree looks bigger. And for for whatever reason, when I played this game, that line stuck with me. Now, whenever I think of, like, trimming pubes, I think if you shave the bush, the tree looks bigger. And Andy Dick's voice, it haunts me. Yeah. Yeah, it's that. 
So anyways, that's why he learned that apparently. He might have played GTA 2, and he learned that in that If you shave the, the bush, the tree looks bigger. <laughs> Gardening with Maurice. Yeah, I think that's it. You know, Gardening with Maurice, uh, Andy Dick was the, the, the voice actor for Maurice, uh, but some guy would call in cre- and do, like, the creepy voice things. You know, shave the bush, the tree looks bigger. <laughs> um, and this is also the catfish, I think. Not Chantal calling me a whore when her husband was trying to convince me to go take out a loan so I can go and be with him for the next two weeks while she was in Canada. But, okay. I'm the whore for your husband's actions. I mean, if it wasn't me, it was going to be somebody else, Chantal. That's a quote. She did, she messaged this man. And then when he said, I want you to become my slave and worship my cock as a god because I am Alpha and Omega. And then I will will pin you down and fuck you in the ass and shit on your face and piss on you. She responded with, uh, with, with heart emojis. Can I do this? Wait, hold up. Heart eye emojis. Everyone, spam the heart eye emojis to the pee pee poo poo. Bam. There we go. That's what it looks like. Where's my message at? It doesn't show up. Oh, I fucked it up. I, I haven't integrated um, my inbound messages for all the different streams yet. It's only on some of them do they show up. There we go. Heart eye emojis. Yes, King. Yes, Alpha and Omega. Pee pee poo poo. Your husband isn't faithful. Your marriage is fake. You're impulsive. You married somebody you didn't even know. Come on. When are you gonna when are you gonna learn? This woman scares me. Also, not Chantal calling me ugly. It might be like the filters. It's just like, I don't know. She looks like a little girl, but she's obviously like a fat woman. Like a fat older woman. You know what I mean? There's something wrong with her. This is like a psychopath. Stay. Listen, chat. If this woman ever adds you on Instagram, block her immediately. She scares me. This is the kind of person who can do pee pee poo poo rape role play with Salah for the for the sole express purpose of owning Chantal. Fascinating. I showed that. Now we get to the meme zone. Uh, apparently, at some point, Chantal decided that she was going to hawk down a big log of uh, sticky chocolate. Uh, perhaps it was this picture that you see right here that Salah saw that made him think, "Oh, my Allah." I have never seen such primal beauty. It brings tears to my eye. I, I do not know. I have seen across the seven deserts many a woman, but I have never seen such beauty as this Canadian Canadian fine import. I must have her in my life. Or maybe it was this. You know, he uh, brings her over to Kuwait. Well, at this point, they're already together. But he's like, I will put her to the test. I will make her eat the kebab. And if the kebab get eaten, I will know I can progress to phase two of my plan and have her eat the pee pee poop. <laughs> so that's also possible. That's a possible thing, a possible part of his plan. <laughs> um, I think that's it. I don't think I missed anything with the Chantel thing. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.